Tonight, blue flames, toxic gas, homes in danger of falling into giant cracks in the earth. The newest explosions from Kilauea are getting hotter and more dangerous, and Stephanie Elam is there. More than three weeks in, and Kilauea shows no sign of letting up. This is my backyard. Residents forced to dodge creeping lava flows as they rush in and out to check on their property. Are you concerned about how much you're breathing in here? I am. Um, I feel saturated when I go home at night. I just feel like I can't get clean. It feels like it's stuck on my skin and my lungs. The images getting stranger by the day. Here, methane gas from burning vegetation creates blue flames rising from cracks in the road. Lava bombs raining down on homes. It snapped it in half at the ankle and foot. Daryl Clinton was struck by a bowling ball sized lava bomb as he checked on his homes. This CNN interview with Clinton just the day before showed the danger of the falling lava. I just wanted to live. I, I didn't care if they cut my leg off down there or not. Where lava isn't the problem, cracks are. And the house is literally falling into that crack system here. This home in Leilani Estates on the verge of being swallowed. The crack itself offering neighbors a rare glimpse deep underground. Officials say lava is still dripping into the ocean, creating toxic gas laced with glass particles. Not knowing hour to hour where it's going to pop up. For residents like Stacy Welch, it makes for a risky trip home as long as home is still there. When you look at this and you see this black lava now, what does it make you think? Uncertain. Definitely uncertain that we're safe. And that lava is on the street behind her one acre lot and on her street. There are very large cracks just feet away from her driveway. That drive in is something that is a new routine that she does every day, Erin. Wow, it's just uh, just incredible to see as this develops. Thank you so much, Stephanie.